Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I'm going to talk about three wireless devices that you can use wirelessly to display from HDMI to VGA to USB. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple items here and talk about them a little bit and my recommendations, why you should buy them and why not you, you should stick to the same one that you have and what's the best option. So the first item I tested out was the StarTech. It's an HDMI StarTech video display port. Uh, it goes up, it, it says it goes up to 165 feet. And just to let you know, it does go up to 165 feet. But I'm gonna let you know what are the flaws on this system. Now, this system, it, it, it has to have two different HDMI in two different locations. So I'm gonna take the items out and I'm gonna let you see what I'm talking about. Welcome back. Now, the first item I'm gonna talk about, the StarTech system. They're very small, they look fragile, but they're not. They're pretty rough and solid and you could drop them a couple of times. Now, on these items, they're, they're a little bit tricky to set up sometimes. It depends on the user and the instructions are very simple to follow. So, what you need to do is just make sure you paste one in back of the TV. Of course, these things turn pretty hot, so you gotta make sure you you have a, a good air circulation around there because they, they do tend to overheat. Now, on, those, on these two items, there are USB connections. So you have to connect uh, HDMI or, or and you need power, of course, because HDMI does not have power. So on these systems, you could use the USB if your TV has a USB connection on it. And you could connect directly to the TV along with the HDMI, of course on one end and then the other end you can do the same thing. Now the power cords are pretty bulky, but they're simple and um, you could get them smaller versions of it with the same voltage. Um, so if you don't have the USB option, you can always connect the, the power cord and into the system and into the wall. Just make sure you have enough space because this is pretty bulky. If you're gonna go in back of the TV, have to make sure it's not slim enough or you might wanna get the USB option. One, one of these boxes has to be the main box that has to be displayed. This could be in the center of the conference room and you basically what you have to do is plug it in and that's pretty much what you do. Now sometimes you don't have a good wireless connection and it starts blinking here and it'll display a little display on the TV too itself. And it's just a matter of syncing up the two buttons and they automatically talk to each other. Now one thing I don't recommend is that you have to have power in the center of table and it's sometimes it's difficult to run cable so that's the only setback on this thing but overall this item's pretty pretty strong I mean it, it it picked up right away as soon as I plugged it in it was up and running I was very impressed with it uh, the distance of this and the quality is very uh, very good because I was running three-dimensional objects on a TV and I was displaying the sink and it was running really good there was not enough lag there was it was running like I, my eyes couldn't tell, so I tried a different playing a video on them, uh, a YouTube, and sometimes you don't sync properly on the video, but it was syncing really good. So I will display the um, how much I purchased this for, and um, like the item so far. But the only problem is that they have these bulky power cords, and you don't have the USB. Like I said, it's an older USB connection. They have the one has to have it either you had your TV comes with it or you're not. It doesn't come with it. The older versions don't have it, but the newer TVs do have an HDMI and a USB. So it's a good item to have in back of the TV in one of the center conference room, or you could put it on your PS4, your Xbox, and, and just your it could be sitting in the next room. And it goes through walls pretty good. I tested out the distance and I tested out a couple things on it. I was very impressed with this item. So if you want to check it out i'll put more items on it more 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 descriptions on it and you can go in details of course there's a lot of accessories in here they do have the ira connection like i asked like i was mentioning actually gets the wireless connection and it goes into the back tree. sometimes when the wireless or copper it can it has the interference it's best to just plug in the ira and paste it in front it has a little sticker in the front of the ira too so you can paste this in front of the tv and you could get a good quality connection from the distance. So it doesn't have to be point to point, but if you have issues with the quality or it's lagging, then I suggest it comes with a great idea what they put an IRA on this connection and an IRA on this one. So it, it is really good. Um, 
for a, a conference room, a small little display, or your home entertainment system, this is pretty good to have. So let me let me show you the next item we're gonna talk about. ClickShare is one item that I really, really, is, is a solid good item that I use a lot in a lot of conference rooms. But like I mentioned in my last video, uh, there's big lag on it. It's pretty much for presentation of PowerPoint, Excel, Word, uh, don't recommend any videos or any audio on it because uh, you're gonna have problems. This system picture is very solid. Love the item, but there's a big setback on it. It's almost two grand to a thousand bucks, on depending on which version you get. Uh, this one was almost two thousand dollars. It does have some great features, but the wireless device, it's, it, it doesn't have, it lags a lot. So there's a little delay on displaying. I really had that issue where you're trying to run videos or eat. you can't do video conferencing on this. It's gonna lag. But the great thing about it is you could buy multiple of these um, USB connections and plug them into different multiple computers. That's a big plus. So if you have five people that have five different pre presentations, you put in this USB, it automatically shows it as a drive, either if an Apple or PC, it would display a drive and you have to install one little installation. Now, in my business, we don't give admin rights to computers. And that was a big problem when you're trying to install an application. Now, good thing you don't need that. This item works as a temp installation. It pretty much saves it in the system itself. Once it unplugs and you plug it back in, it's gonna ask for the driver again. It's just a temporary solution right now. So you do not need administrative rights to set this up. So this is a big plus on it. Now on the plus side of this thing, there is a network connection in the, in the back of it. And when you connect it to your network, you could modify this system. You could disable the audio HDMI. You could control it remotely. You could have users log in with their Apple ID, Apple phone, or their droids. Um, you could change the, the, the display to have your company display. You could do various things and do the updates remotely. Now, they have the USB connection in the back. So when you purchase one of these, and it's brand new and you need to program it all you got to do is plug it in in the front or in the back there's plenty of connections to plug them in once this plugs in it syncs into this item and it, and it converts everything back in here now another plus thing if you want have surround sound systems and you want to be able to hear all this stuff there is a, a fiber connection here for the audio fiber connection which is another great plus thing there is another audio cord here connection for the audio speakers so there's multiple options on this thing. That's why I like this thing. And once I turn it on, I never have to turn it off. It stays on all the time. It keeps it cool. It doesn't overheat as much as I want. But the bad thing is the price. Five, four, three, two. Top item to have if you have a conference room. But like I said, don't recommend it for video conferencing. Great item, one of the best items that I've been working in the business. There's a larger version of this, but no need to purchase that. It's it's just overpriced for what it's gonna do to bought the same thing as this one. So really like this item. If you have the price, if you, if you can afford it for your conference room, go ahead and purchase it. I mean, for displaying presentation, it's great. Like I said, it's just for presentation. No video, no conferencing, video calls or anything like that. It, it's like so let me talk about the last item and I'll let you know what's my top pick from all these three items well my last item is Nyrus of course this is the receiver and this is the connection and I'm gonna t talk a little bit about this computer this system the setup actually so this will go on back of your TV or your wherever you want to display your stuff now there is a USB it's simple if you have a USB in your TV you're gonna have the power. There is a power cord too. It's also a little bulky, but there's only two connections in here. It's just a USB and a CMI. That's pretty much, and there's an on and off button here. And once in a while, it has to sync up. So, you know, it'll automatically sync up to the right channel. You can actually change the channel. There is a channel button. If you have multiple of these displays around through your company and you have to have different channels, it goes up to, I believe eight channels on this. So. <laughs> maximum of eight you might have a problem after eight so it 
gets an, a, a, a signal within its area and this can go a long way from your conference room. So you could be in two or three conference rooms away or three of, of different floors or uh, not floors actually, but it, 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 it signal is very strong. This is one of the most impressive connections I've used and I keep using it. And also another plus thing, it's cheap. It's super cheap. It's compared to all these three items I have here, this one and these two. I mean, this is 250 bucks. Pretty much what you gotta do is have this in back of your TV. You never see this again. You pretty much set it up. This is what you need. So HDMI does not support power. It's pretty much, you gotta set up your own power. There's a USB connection. It comes with this cable here. It's pretty long enough, you know? A lot of computers have a, a, a USB connection for power. So you do need 3.0, which can, uh, it configures with power, of course. Uh, now, when you plug this into your HDMI and you plug this to power, it powers the system up. Now, this is the best part. No software necessary. It instantly goes up and running and you're ready to present right there and then in high quality, good link, good synchronization. And I'm gonna demo this right in front of you guys so you can see how fast it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demo this system to plug into the TV right behind me. Now, I did add a little extension on it just so it could curve, it could bend because I, that's another recommendation. If you're gonna purchase this item, get a Sun extension. I pretty much borrowed this one from a, a, a Amazon Fire Stick or you can purchase this very simple and it does have a little item that kind of bends over in the cross and it could be like an antenna sticking out. I didn't like that because you easily feel fragile and breaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in the HDMI into the laptop, the power into the laptop, and it's a bit, it's gonna display right behind me. So it takes a, maybe enough for the driver to keep running. Once it, it picks up the driver automatically, no software necessary, it's displays automatically in the back. Now the quality of this, it, it's it's one of the best qualities I've seen. The, it, the flow of the, the synchronization of the wireless, it's pretty neat, it's pretty fast and it's simple. And for the price, this is my top pick from all these three items. I was very impressed with this item and uh, I'm gonna continue using them for conference rooms, uh, to display uh, maybe audio and uh, also set boxes and and even you can even use this for drone systems uh, it's amazing you plug one in on your TV or your display your headset or your wireless device and then you plug this one into your drone if you have power and you could video display of high quality um, back to your pinpoint or to your A spot or B spot whatever you're at so it could be, and you could go a long distance. It's set to go over a hundred feet. I am sure it can do that. And now the movie industry is using this. Pretty much they're sending this up where the camera, digital camera, plug it in. And then they have a display somewhere down behind a desk or something. And they're able to see everything live and syncing quality. The quality of it, you don't see any lag or anything. I can't tell, my eyes can't tell. It's pretty simple and pretty fast. So if you're interested, um give us a like and subscribe and um let us know if you want us to see anything else i am going to have the next part of this i'm going to be going in depth if you want us to have another video on all these three items i could display another video and show you guys and give you some more topics on it so um welcome to upgrade and give us a like and subscribe